As we promised, we're diving into the recent KRC20 beta launch on the CASPA network, the issues that we all suffered, and the solutions being developed to address them. Let's break it down in simple terms so everyone can understand. First off, the KRC20 beta launch on June 30th saw the CASPA network face significant saturation, with over 20,000 wallets interacting, injecting hundreds of minting transactions per hour. Simultaneously, the network was overwhelmed. This caused delays and congestion, which wasn't the best experience for users. Only a few tokens could be deployed and partially minted, while many couldn't even start the process because the network was saturated. One major issue was that transactions got stuck in the mempool, waiting to be processed and sent to the miners. This was partly due to the lack of effective tools to prioritize transactions. Priority fees are crucial for ensuring that important transactions get processed faster. But the tools available weren't up to the task. To address this, the team is working on automating fee calculations, which should help streamline the process. Additionally, blocks weren't used optimally during this period. This inefficiency in block utilization contributed to the congestion. KEP 9, a new proposal, aims to solve this problem by regulating the growth of the UTXO set and optimizing transaction fees. This will help make better use of block space, reduce state bloat, and enhance overall network performance. Important infrastructure work and wallet implementations of the replace by fee RBF mechanism need to be in place. RBF allows for fee adjustments on posted transactions, ensuring they get confirmed promptly. Wallet providers can speed up the adoption of these improvements by using the WASM SDK provided by the CASPA team. This SDK includes tools and functions to help implement KEP9 fee calculations and RBF giving a better assurance to have smoother transaction handling. On top of this, some nodes were down due to hosting provider issues right before the beta launch, exacerbating the problem. To mitigate this, the community powered up public nodes, and there was a call to action to deploy additional resources to handle the load. This is a significant management challenge, but it's being tackled with the development of an automation tool to make node management easier. CASPA operates as a peer-to-peer -peer network where nodes can become public and available to distribute connections. To support this, a resolver application is being developed to help distribute connections more efficiently. The team is also discussing with Casplex to enable a new trust model to sync new indexers to the KRC network from arbitrary peers, avoiding reliance on a single source of truth. This enhances the network's robustness and decentralization. From a development perspective, updates to the KRC protocol have been proposed to streamline processes and improve user and developer experiences. One exciting development is the implementation of partially signed CASPA transactions, PSKT, which will allow atomic swaps of tokens without third-party reliance, paving the way for decentralized exchanges. In a recent meeting, it was suggested that mid-August might be a realistic goal for the relaunch, but the consensus is to avoid setting a firm date until everything is ready. The focus is on doing it right rather than fast. What can you do to help? First, stay informed, as there could be more changes and improvement proposals. An important component of these improvements lies in the wallets. Ensure wallets are taking full advantage of KP9 and RBF. A good way to validate this is by asking if they are using the WASM SDK provided by the core team of CASPA. Another way to contribute is by adding more nodes to the network. You can ask the CASPA team directly on Discord about how to help with this. Additionally, remain vigilant and ensure parties like Casplex and wallet providers are following the guidelines from the CASPA core team. Casplex indexers should hurry to adopt a decentralized model by releasing their code and supporting others in using it. In summary, the CASPA team is actively working on multiple fronts to address the challenges faced during the KRC20 beta launch. From improving fee management and node distribution to ensuring robust infrastructure, the goal is to create a smoother, more efficient network for all users. Stay tuned for more updates, and if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter to keep up with the latest developments on all these exciting topics.